what we have here is our definition for combinations. And although it's often useful to think about a combination in this way, which is as a permutation divided by all the ways you can arrange the things you're looking at, and that's quite useful to do as well. Uh, intuitively, intuitively, I prefer this method right here. However, we should point out that the more common way of writing the formula listed right here can be quite fast if you recognize a wonderful and powerful pattern that emerges. The idea is that, let's say you have five objects and you're looking at all the groupings of three of them. You might first be inclined to plug this formula in directly and say, okay, n is my first number and that's five factorial. Three is my second number, that's r, so that goes here, three factorial. And then I do n minus r, which is two factorial. But when you step back and look at it, you might have noticed that it's always true that this digit plus this digit, 3 plus 2, has to equal this digit here. That must happen. It must. And we'll prove that in a moment. But let's just look at one more example. Let's say I asked you, what is 11 choose 7? Well, to set it up super quick, you can say 11 goes up top, and then 4 and 7 go on the bottom in either order, right? You might typically write the 7 first. It doesn't matter. Right, the commutative property holds. So you can do that super quick. Why does this work? How do we prove it? Well, let's clear off some of this so you can see what has to happen. The proof of this is essentially right in the definition. In the definition of the combination, we have r here and then n minus r. Up top, we have n, and we're taking the factorial of all these things. Well, if I take r, this number, digit right there, and I add it to and minus r, algebraically, what must I get? Oops, well, since the r and the negative r are opposites, they add to zero, I have to get n. So it's always true that these two digits add up to the digit up top. And that might help you get through these problems a little bit faster. Thanks.